Title, The Tapestry of Bumi, by Wisdom Chronicles. In the heart of Bumi, a land where the sun graced the earth with a golden caress and the moon bathed it in silver tranquility, there existed a village known for its harmonious existence. This village, nestled between the emerald embrace of the forest and the azure kiss of the river, thrived under the watchful eyes of its elders, who wove the fabric of their society with threads of order and tradition. The people of Bumi lived in a structured society where each person's role was as defined as the seasons, ensuring a balance that had lasted for generations. As dawn unfurled its rosy fingers across the sky, the village awoke to the melodies of birdsong and the gentle rustle of leaves. Men and women set about their tasks, the air filled with the scent of fresh earth and the sound of the river's gentle flow. Children played amidst the mango trees, their laughter mingling with the calls of the wild. The integration of local flora and fauna into their daily lives was a testament to their deep connection with nature. But as the wheel of time turned, whispers of change rode the winds. A traveller from a distant land arrived, bearing with him the seeds of chaos. Technologies and ideas foreign to the simple folk of Bumi. His presence, at first a curiosity, soon became a catalyst for transformation. The younger generation, fascinated by the tales and gadgets he brought, began to question the ways of their forebears. The structured society that had once been the village's cornerstone started to show cracks as elements of chaos seeped in. The elders, guardians of tradition, watched with growing concern as the established order was challenged. They convened under the ancient banyan tree, their faces etched with the wisdom of years, to discuss the unfolding events. The banyan tree, with its vast network of roots and branches, served as a symbol of their interconnected society, each individual's life intertwined with the others, forming a cohesive whole. As days slipped into nights and seasons changed their guard, the village found itself at a crossroads. The technology the traveller introduced had undoubtedly brought benefits, making certain tasks easier and opening the villagers' eyes to a world beyond their borders. However, it also distracted them from the communal activities that once bound them together, creating rifts where none had existed. The once vibrant cultural elements of Bumi began to fade, as traditional festivals were overlooked in favour of new entertainments and the stories of ancestors were drowned out by the allure of the unknown. The historical tapestry of the village, woven over centuries, risked being unraveled by the threads of modernity. Amidst this tumult, a young girl named Lila emerged as an unlikely bridge between the old and the new. Lila, with her keen curiosity and deep love for her heritage, began to explore how the benefits of the new technologies could be integrated without sacrificing their traditions. She saw the beauty in the order that had guided them, but also recognized the potential for growth that change offered. Lila's efforts led her to propose a festival, a celebration of the old and the new. It would be a day where technology and tradition danced together, showing that one did not have to exclude the other. The festival would take place during the equinox, symbolizing balance and feature displays of technological marvels alongside traditional crafts, music and storytelling. As the festival approached, the village buzzed with activity. The air was filled with the scent of spices and the sound of hammering and laughter. The weather, which had mirrored the village's turmoil with unseasonal storms, cleared as if in approval, blessing the event with a perfect balance of sun and breeze. On the day of the festival, the village square was transformed. Stalls adorned with colourful fabrics showcased the intricate tapestry of Bumi's heritage, while nearby, demonstrations of new farming equipment and water purification devices attracted eager crowds. The elders, dressed in their finest, walked among the young, sharing stories of the past. 
their voices blending with the hum of conversation and the occasional beep and whirl of gadgets. As night fell, the village gathered around a bonfire, the flames casting a warm glow on faces young and old. Lila stood before them, a figure of unity, and spoke of the beauty in blending the wisdom of the past with the possibilities of the future. She talked about the importance of maintaining their roots while reaching for the stars, of honoring their ancestors while embracing the unknown. The Festival of Balance became a turning point for Bumi. It did not erase the challenges of integrating the old with the new, but it offered a vision of a path forward, one that wove the threads of order and chaos into a stronger tapestry. The village learned that change need not be feared nor blindly embraced, but approached with wisdom and respect for the past. In the years that followed, Bumi became a testament to the power of balance. The village flourished, its traditions enriched rather than eroded by the judicious embrace of new ideas. The people of Bumi, with their deep connection to the earth and the sky, the river and the forest, continued to live in harmony. A harmony that now included the echoes of distant lands and the whispers of the future. The traveller, once a harbinger of disruption, became a cherished member of the community. His story a reminder that growth often comes from the meeting of worlds. And as for Lila, she became known as the Weaver of Worlds, a bridge between generations, her name forever woven into the tapestry of Bumi. In the dance of life, Bumi discovered that order and chaos, tradition and innovation, need not be adversaries, but partners in the ever-unfolding story of humanity. And so, under the watchful gaze of the banyan tree, the village continued to weave its story, a story of balance, growth and unity, a beacon of light in a world of shifting sands.